benefiting from the coronavirus, but really the broader action that we have been seeing. And for that, I want to bring in our next guest. We have Lee Munson, president and CIO of Portfolio Wealth Advisors. And Lee, it's interesting because we have some of these individual names that have continued to be standouts. We know Slack is under pressure here after hours, but the stock has performed very well since the start of the year. And then broadly speaking, the S&P just recording its best 50-day rally ever, up over 37%. So my question to you is, does this market have room to run or should we be thinking twice before we start chasing some of these returns? Well, I am. I mean, I, I think this momentum has legs. The problem is, is that it's detached from from what the you know what the economic reality that we're getting in right now. So here's how I see it. If I want to be polite, which I try to be sometimes, we would just simply say that the market is discounting six to 12 months out on really good consensus guidance, 130 a share for the S&P, basically what we have right now. And that would take us to you know, 3,000, 3,100. The problem that I have is that I have a fundamental different belief on that. I don't think we're gonna make what consensus said, which is down you know, 20, 25%. I think we're more looking like maybe 100, 110 share on the S&P, you know, put that at a valuation. You know, I'm getting more like 2,800 times you know, 2,800 on the S&P, and that's going all the way out to 2022 earnings at maybe 150 a share. So I think that you have to, if you're buying the market now and you're buying it on fundamentals, you really have to believe that we're not doing guidance and that that's a mistake. And that in fact, we're going to have a very robust return. We're going to go from 42 million unemployed to not that much. If I want to be more provocative or cynical, or have a few beers. I'd say people are crazy right now. You got momentum players, you got algos putting in hundreds of billions of bucks. And I think it could keep going up. What I've done, I've just, I've just peeled back, right? I've been, I've been selling into strength for like eight weeks now. And I've got a decent average price. But unless you manage money for your own self, or unless you're fortunate to have you know, clients like mine that are definitely behind what I'm doing and they're definitely with me in terms of patience, I think it's got to be very difficult because I think a lot of portfolio managers out there, they've got to run their book for the next 30 days for their Q2 performance. And if you're living and dying by Q2 performance, you got to go and screw around in Latin America. Did you see that You know, yesterday? It's just popping. And you have to go around to my hunting ground, small value, that's still popping. But you're not doing it on any fundamentals. You're doing it on a catch-up trade. You're doing it on whatever hasn't popped will and start doing that. And you, you see it in emerging markets. Hey, Lee, Rick Newman here. I, th I think I'm speaking for the team here when I say we'd prefer you to be impolite rather than polite. Uh, but I'll, I, I just want to get to what you're say saying. I'm hearing you saying you'd be more comfortable if you saw, saw a haircut in valuations. But also, what about the fundamentals would actually make you feel better about the markets? What are some triggers at the, at the level of the fundamentals that would make you a more enthusiastic buyer? Well, okay, well, why don't we be blunt and say, what would cause you to have to go back to your clients and say, I'm dead wrong and I need to start buying things. I'll figure out how to make up performance next year because that's really the question here. Um, number one, I've got to see these furloughed people go back to work in the next three months. I've got to see the August ISM numbers, August, September. I have to see manufacturing start picking up a lot. And I have to start seeing next quarter these earnings start flowing in so that we think that we really will produce somewhere around 130 or higher aggregate earnings on the S&P 500. The problem is this is not a bull market where I come on and say, I don't care if things were soft. The banks are lending. You go higher. You buy. You hold your nose. This is not that situation. So unemployment has got to not just top out but I got to see those people. Look at AutoNation. You know, they took 7,000 furloughed people. They said, well, we're going to give back our PPP money. It's like 77 million. We're going to permanently lay off half of those people. Half? What if we have half of the 42 million become permanent? Then I'm just going to sit around being right. <laughs> we're going to leave it there, Lee. We're going to see if you are right over the next couple of weeks. Uh, Lee Munson, always great to have you on the show. Thanks so much for taking the time today. Awesome. Have a great week. All right. We got to get.